up and heave in. Just completely, utterly in awe here. That is a complete scandal. That is quite out of this world. But we're going to focus on our first match, Chinapa versus Perry. Little lack of faith, Lee Drew, in my research. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to swear at me then. No, I, no. I was, I was only joking. That's a good shot from Perry. So I came up with spearmint green. What's, what's Perry's colour? Fuchsia. Like um, like a plant, I think, isn't it? I could, be, I could be wrong on that one. Six five. Well, Perry no, is definitely Perry's on a run of points. Yeah. Napa not quite able to deal with that movement forwards, so not reading Perry. So Perry has five game balls. Perry. Well, it's a bit cheap in housing. Five. <laughs> Perry leads one game to love. Yeah. Touch. I'm not sure I'd have gone stroke there. Which no. trend? <laughs> well, <laughs> many trends, but yeah, which one? <laughs> Define. I mean, the crease, squ the crease squash TV trend. The crew. The <laughs> oh, squash the cr TV t-shirt trend. Um, no, the the trend of going down to see Hadrian Stiff and working Six with him. Four. I like getting it off the cross, looking for a cross from the back, and then stepping across and straight volley drop. And then as the la mid last year. I really like uh, a backhand drop from the back. Oof. Well, Chinapa, uh, give me a bit of an easy one there to Perry, who's established a two-point lead. Got two game balls here in this second. Out. Well, there you go. Game to Perry. Perry leads two games to love. Well, it's a good hold from Perry. Really unsettling. Junapa. The good thing there is that she's setting up. She's got options. She could go long or short there. Was that hold and hit again? It just gets Chinapa committing one, one way, point. one step, has one a movement available. forwards, and then you're done for with a quality shot like that. Perry now has one match ball. Cool. I thought it was going to be a fitting ending, oh. but well it was the setup from the boast. Well finished 11, 5, by Perry. 11, 8, She'll be pleased 10. to have got that one. Three love. Chinapa had won that game. She'd have been very dangerous. So confirmation, 28 minutes. Three love to Sarah Jane Perry over Chinapa. Joel King losing the first game against Milou van der Heiden, who's actually been playing really well the last couple of weeks. Yeah, she has. I was surprised to be all credit to me though because she has been she's put uh, some damage in higher ranked players than her but Joel King usually kind of is too strong for Seven, those three. players in the 20 to th 30 she just shuts them down immediately with a lot of 3-1 wins seen this time and time again haven't we where one player does look like they're they're dominating but they get themselves a lead and it just disappears so quickly yeah and I think well we, we've heard time and again that this back, um, the back of this court is extremely difficult. Once, almost once the ball goes back there, it's and so difficult eight, to get out and get out decently. That the player who figures that out, especially in the first game where someone might not be as sharp. Yeah, nicely finished. 11, Slotted that King. backhand drop shot. King leads one game to love. First blood to Joel King.
Wow, what a drop shot. I, I think that's been one of her most consistent shots. Well then. <laughs> Anything you can do? <laughs> Ten all. Player must win by two points each play. Well, again, looking to turn Evans. The movement of Evans holding up really well there, though, in that rally. Yeah, we've seen her do this so many times. Oh, it's too well, much. Yeah, well, she went the wrong way. She committed for the cross court drop. 13, again, good King awareness ball. and clever play from King. King is right up at close to her maximum, around that 180 mark. That's about the highest we've seen her. There, well conceded by Tesney Evans. Very fair from the Welsh player. Game to King. King leads two games Double hit to off the side wall. She didn't Seven entirely four. mean that shot, but it was a beauty to watch. Visible on court, you can sense that she truly believes. What well, a big breakthrough as well, champs, wasn't it? Where yep. she beat Nora Masaro. Wow, what a shot. <laughs> what a shot from King. She has glued this ball down the wall. I thought that was a brilliant shot from Evans, but... That is basically the perfect drive. Well, that's well done. Just evaded the volley. As soon as King had committed for that on this court, there's no way that ball was coming back. Found it. Seven She's found a three. range for me, Evans. She's just looking more and more comfortable on that court. Not up. And out eight five. To Evans. Ooh, she doesn't have any used, reviews she's left. She's used her review. She come. She looks aghast. She's used it. No reviews available. Game at particular points like this, where those bread and butter shots turn into tins. That is great Four skill left. from Evans. She just picked that volley just before it bounced low down. Very difficult to execute that. Great. King doing plenty of work. It's still steady. Her heart rate is still 172, but she's she's the one doing the work in the court sprints in this match. And out Slightly fortuitous snap back corner. Evans, three games to two. Really good fight back from Tesney seven Evans. 11, 12, Huge 14, win for her. 11, 9, 11, 7, Backing 11, 5. up the British Open result from the last time they met. Impressive stuff from Evans. Well, confirmation 70 minutes, 3 2 for Tesney Evans. She's knocked out the number four seed. Purpose.
Well, it's a good one, too, from Masaro. Some tough work going in and out to these exchanges. Eight, seven. Just, I don't know. I don't yeah, brilliant shot. Nicole David just holding slightly on the volley and then Ten driving all. it. Player must win by two corners. points. Each player has one review available. Making Masaro go the long. Well, that's brilliant length hitting from Nicole David. Can be a stroke. Yeah, that's absolutely ferocious. Yes, <gasps> well, she's going to review this. Play review, review on the yes let decision. So there is a confirmation of the overall. It means that Masaro wins that first stroke game. Zaro. Really good game first Zaro, game 12, between 10. these two. There's no hope of taking it out of the back corners. And if you do, you're just lifting it onto the volley of your opponent. So you want there again, opportunity knocks. Well again, time. it's a backhand drop shot winner. We've seen that and time out. and time again. Seven, six. Get good length, get the distance on the court and get that backhand drop shot in quick. Scream and counter drop, wasn't it? Yep. That's a tough movement. You saw the movement of David as he tried to chase forwards to that. Hand out, 8-7. Yeah, it's a good shot from Sara. She is seriously Masaro focused. Leads. Two games on the court, up. getting a significant amount of cut on her yeah. drops, and there. There again. Oh wow! Oh. Wow! What a rally! She's still going. <laughs> Jeez, there she is! Oh, oh, oh dear! She almost skidded. It was like <laughs> watching clay court tennis. <laughs> it's great movement. Hello. Brilliant rally. Too well. That is a brilliant shot from Masaro. Well, it's not really Nicole David's natural thing either to do, is it? She likes to initiate the attacks on the volley through the middle yep. of the court. Especially, I mean, for me, that's her confidence shot. Not necessarily from this position in the middle of the court, but when someone is dry. Yeah, it's a nice finish. 11 7 game yelp. two. David oh, Masaro leads. That shot. Two games to one. Chris Langthorne, Laura Masaro's brother, also there. He's now coach at a school here in Philadelphia, the Shipley School. Well, there you go. Good. Can't stop. That's the problem because David has had a bit of joy playing the boast from the back Free of the court, off. but she's played it as, a, as a, an outright winner. I think it's all about opportunities missed and taken in this match for me. Not yeah, out. Definitely. I think as soon as the ball goes loose, there's a, there's a case to, to take it in. 9-4. I mean, the worrying sign. There you go, she's closed out with that volley drive. Bit of a momentum swing for Masaro at the end of that game. 11 though. 8. I wonder whether that David. will carry on into the fifth. Two games all. Just feel that counter is always on for either player up there. Yes, yeah, nice shot, yeah. well finished. And out, one all. Oh, <laughs> it's all happening. Well, it's trademark Masaro. 
The Ice Queen Nine looking five. vicious after this boast. And Slightly tense there. Ball. Three match balls remaining for Masaro. Well, there you go. Nine seven, match to Perfect Mizarro. drive into Three the back court, to cross court. 12 10. Nicole 11, David eight, not seven, even 11, able to set eight, off 11, for it. It was gone so 11, quickly. Seven. Really entertaining match between these two. Well, both players playing their part. In the end, it was the tins that cost Nicole David in that game. 57 minutes, 3 2 for the number seven seed, Laura Massaro. behind the shot. Well, Tarek Moman in the crowd as well, making sure that it's very difficult to spot him. He doesn't like to stand out. Very little pressure on a woman from Greenwich, Connecticut. Yeah, nice finish from Elwa Lili. She's had enough of that first game. Yeah, Tayeb was, I was chatting to her briefly about it early on and she was saying that she was just gutted that someone figured it out and she wasn't able to counteract what they, what they did and Amanda Sobey played the lob and top game to perfection. Uh, the dipping volley drop, trademark, Raneem El-Walili. Wonderful skill. Down. Well, again, El-Walili looking for the half volley, Ten hitting all. that ball on the rise. Popping it into Player the tin, so having had game balls, we're now going to a tie break. Another game ball for the Enigma. And there you go, the uh, error well, from Blatchford just Lillie. at the wrong time. Well, the two players still trading winners here. That's just oh, a <laughs> checking. And volley. She'll be pleased that that's working Seven, again. Please. Well, she's been picked off, isn't she? That's the problem if you settle and allow El Walili to settle in a straight line, she will pick you off. Oh. Well, there it is. Balls hit the line. Good match between these two. Third game was all about Raneem El Walili, though. She'll be very pleased with that. 33 minutes in duration. Three love for the Enigma over Olivia Blatchford.